What have you taken from it? Hands on any any thoughts? What was the big reaction? If you had, to, if you had one thing that you think you learned, what was it? What was it? Was that going greener? Perseverance. Perseverance. Was that right? Yeah. Good. I'm going to persevere. Any other thoughts? Opportunities for us to explore. Anything else? I think it was just interesting to see, uh, to get insight into, um, you know, the energy um, industry in another continent, another um, jurisdiction. So that was that was insightful. <coughs> We might be going to Brazil, the North Ends need love. <laughs> 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 yeah. mm -hmm. Well, all my brain is, is thinking, all my brain is thinking now is the weather. <laughs> um, as we come into this part of the year, which is, well, the campus will be beautiful because the, the leaves will all be amber, but you won't see them for more than about three hours of every day. If you're lucky. Um, <laughs> but thank you to Leon for asking me to come along. Um, what struck me was that once upon a time, and I, I grew up in Aberdeen, um, and if you put to one side, and it's quite a thing to put to one side, the fluctuating oil price that drives so much of what goes on in oil and gas extraction, the way that you would think about the law and oil and gas law was pretty standard. You know, you had the IOCs, you had the super majors, they worked on quite a supranational level. The people at the top all knew each other. They'd all been working with each other for some time. The technical challenges of oil and gas extraction tended to be within certain major headings. Um, there was a degree of predictability within which obviously you had to manage the fluctuating oil price. But the sort of thing we hear about nowadays are significant changes in the uh, UK continental shelf as we move into the energy transition and we deal with decommissioning. But then suddenly in the last few months, we think, well, actually, we might need some gas again. So let's think about how we get some of that out. And then we hear um, from the folks in Brazil and from Barbara about what's going on in Brazil. And there obviously are differences there, but there's things like the changing market as the majors that IOCs leave. And we see smaller players as we've just been here from Jose. So it's Jose. Um, changing market, changing relationship, changing dynamics changing technical challenges, the oil is no longer so easy to get out. And how do we deal with all of that? And one of the key ways we have to deal with that is to understand people. And that's why it's so great to have Barbara here and to see all of you indeed getting together into one room to share your thinking and your ideas and to be able to call in Jose from Brazil to hear from Professor Delu about what he's been doing with the energy transition. Because understanding how the people think about what's going on is a key way in which we can understand the changes that are happening and I'm very grateful for you picking it out. Obviously you have to persevere um, because it's not so easy uh, to do that. And then where does the law come in? It's not all about people, but the law gives us that chance to have a universal foundation to how those relationships work. And that's why learning what we learn in these meetings is so important. It's seeing what the law is as the foundation and then building the relationships. So with that, just thank you very much to Dr. Leon and Dr. Ruchi. They are both proper doctors, not like me. I'm a fake <laughs> professor. Um, for organising today and for coming along. Thank you so much to Barbara for coming across. And where's Alicia? Alicia, thank you too for coming too, all the way here. I hope it's, not, I hope it's been a good experience for you. And thank you for sharing with all the students uh, and to John and mainly to all of you for, for coming along and giving a good turnout. Because it's important when we get people along that we have, you know, we can show people that we can get uh, an audience. So thank you to Professor Delu, who's not here, I don't think, just now. Uh, and with that, I don't want to hold you any longer, um, but uh, thank you all for coming, and I hope you take some of these thoughts into the rest of your year, early in the year, but hopefully we'll have more of these events in the future. So thanks very much.